Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to be doing is sh just showing how to uh, to pickify an another disk when you're running in OS X Lion. And I'm doing this on a virtual machine, so I'm not going to be able to do the whole of the process, but I'm showing the important bits. And then the end part you should be able to handle, um, should be able to handle yourself. So first thing you have to do is to get hold of the of an installer and so so, so there's a so the first thing you have to do is you need a 10.11.6 install file so I'm just going to download that but in the description is, is a link to to the one that you can download from Apple so from their official site but I'm, but I'm just going to download it from a local um, a local location just to show you how to do it Right, so I'm just going to download. So, so this is this is the file that if you use the link, uh, which is in the description, then this is the file that it will download. And if you're not sure, you can I'll I'll try to remember to include the link to the actual page, and then you can just click the link from the page. Right, so that's downloaded. And the next thing you'll need is a is a picky file application and I've got that I've got that inside this zip um, but I mean it's something you can find on the internet but if anyone wants this zip file then I, I can put up a link to it as well but I'm just presuming that people know how to find it okay so the first thing to do is um is to install the the to the OS X. Okay, so this is quite big. So if you're on a rotating drive, it'll just take a little bit of time to install. Okay, so that's that. Um, Right, so now that has been installed in applications. So there you see the install OS X El Capitan. So if you then, what you need to then do is get hold of this program, which is called uh, Pikify App V1 9. So you, if you do a search for it, you should be able to find someone who's got it somewhere. And then, and then you'll end up with a an icon so this icon here and what it is it's a program which can install a what it does it installs a patched installer onto a volume so now I've got a volume attached so what I have to do next is to I was just going to say also that these other ones this version here is the command line one if you what what the difference is is for this one you need at least 12 gigs of memory installed. I don't know why. So because I've got 16 gigs in this virtual machine, it works. But if you've got 12, if you've got less than 12 gigs, you have to use this command line one. So if someone's desperate, then I can do another video for that. But this one's just about. This is for people who've got the enough memory to to run this GUI version. All right. So now I'm just gonna prepare the so this is a blank or blank disk
Okay, so you just erase that. And then make sure that it's GUID partition or, or it won't boot. So once you've got that there, you put this utility in. So now, you just have to run the this install pipe OS X. So just double click on that. Just open it. You put in your password. Then if you've got the 12 gigs and over, you'll get this screen. So, so of course, yeah, you might want to do it onto your normal boot drive. I wouldn't advise it. So what you do is just select the blank drive. And then when you select it, it will then start going through the process. And so what it's doing is it's actually extracting the files from the installer and then it, it's patching them and then making sure that all the, the, the boot load related items are all 32 bit so that it'll then be able to boot on your Mac Pro 1.1 and of course you have to be doing this all on your Mac Pro 1.1 which is running 10.7.5 Right, so now this, so it's finished doing the process. And w what will happen is when you do restart, it will then take you straight into the installer of the 10.11.6. Now, one thing that's important is before you run the installer, because with, with Lion, you don't have this problem, but then Apple just introduced, I think it was 10.9, or it was Mountain Lion, I can't remember which one, they introduced the problem whereby if the date they made the certificate expire just to make things more difficult. So what you have to do is you have to go before you reboot, you go into the system preferences and date and time and then you make sure it's not automatic. And then you just have to change the year to be 2017. Yeah then save that. So if you Check that. So make sure the clock is is two thousand. The year is two thousand seventeen. So now you click restart, and then what should happen is you should then end up in the installer for the ten eleven six on your Mac Pro one point one. So of course, if I do it, it restarts. I'll just get a black screen, which doesn't do anything because I've um. Yeah, because because this this bootload this chameleon loader only works for sixty four bit, um, and and because the it's a thirty two bit loader, because um, even though ten eleven even though the Mac Pro can run a sixty four bit kernel, it's because Apple were cheap and put the thirty two bit EFI in, and they they could have patched it, but they just couldn't be bothered, obviously, since they it was their OS. So that, that should get you that far. And I could go a bit further, but someone would have to try and tell me how you can boot, uh, 10.11.6 on a, on QMU using a 32 bit loader. So that's the only thing I couldn't work out how to do. So this is as far as I could get. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.